While we may think that we're living in a wireless world, that's really just an illusion. Wireless is almost always just the last or first step of the communication process. If we truly cut the cable, our world would get awfully quiet and dark. You see, our highest tech relies on some of our lowest tech, and some of that tech couldn't get any lower. The advent of a cable for communication began in the early 1800s in England with the development of the telegraph, first used to signal the arrival and departure of steam trains. At about the same time in the US, a method of communication using electronic dots and dashes called Morse code was also developed. Both systems used wires that were strung above ground on poles. Eventually, telegraph wires crisscrossed the United States from coast to coast. But there were no telegraph lines connecting America with Europe because of one giant obstacle, the Atlantic Ocean. The Henry Ford's curator of communications, Kristen Gallerno, explained the vital role the first transatlantic cables played to connect our world. Cable is not a new thing. No, it's been around for a long time. What are we looking at here? This is the root of our sort of global communication network right here. This is the 1858 transatlantic cable. This went across the Atlantic Ocean. Underneath, yes, many, many miles underneath the ocean. C connecting Europe with North America. And it was stranded from Heart's Content, Newfoundland in Canada, all the way to Valencia, Ireland. And it's actually the shortest distance between continents, and that's why it was chosen. A copper wire was used as the conduit to transmit messages. Two ships set sail from each continent, submerging the cable in sections. The plan was to meet in the middle of the Atlantic and connect the two ends. Unfortunately, there was an oops moment. So this cable was amazingly heavy. One company wound it one way, but then there was another company involved and they wound it the other way. So when the two ships met in the middle of the ocean, they were like, oh no, we can't connect this. So they had to come up with a special way to splice the cable. The first transatlantic telegram was finally sent on August 16th, 1858. The first message was an exchange of messages actually between Queen Victoria and President James Buchanan. And the content of those messages was basically congratulating one another on the great international work of the cable's success. But it took him 17 hours to receive the message. Reason for the slow speed? Cheap, impure copper used for the wire which interrupted the electrical flow like a speed bump on a street. Transmission times got faster when purer copper was used in subsequent ocean cables. After years of effort, the 1858 cable worked perfectly for about three weeks because somebody thought sending 2,000 volts of electricity through it could speed up transmission times, uh, but it literally fried the wire. A second, more robust transatlantic cable was laid in 1865 since then, we've connected the entire planet one cable at a time. From voice cables for phones to fiber optic cables for the internet, which can all be found underneath the ocean. So maybe cord cutting is a little overrated. <laughs> it's true.